Well, welcome back to Dragon Quest XI. Last time we uh, found out we have a reincarnation of the Luminary. Did a few quests in Heliodor. And let's go ahead and visit the king. Which is the original reason why we actually came here. Oh, that's a pretty statue. What do you say about it? Oh, look at this. I wonder how much it's worth. If I sold it, I bet I'd never have to work again. Yeah. See this two-headed eagle. It's a symbol of Heliodor. It's on the flag as well. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Halt! Not so fast. Let me through. Stage your business. Here to see the game, of course. Yes. <laughs> and the luminary. Here, shake my hand, mate. That's the funniest one I've heard all week. Clear off, will ya? We haven't. Oops. Apparently, hitting the joysticks. Oh, yeah. oh. What's that? Uh, there's conversation. You want to show that pendant to the king? You say? Oh. Actually, I didn't say it. To be honest. <laughs> Wait in here a minute. Ever so sorry for that little misunderstanding. Please go right on through. His Majesty's waiting for you. Mm. I don't like the whispering. You guards seem like good guys, but the heck knows. Ooh, can I explore? What do you have to say? He's waiting for you to get the throne room, head up the stairs, and go straight on. Luminary at long last. Hmm. It's in here. Stuff I can break. Seven gold. Butterfly wing. Curious power emanates from the root wrapped around the tree. She has been here since before I was born. It simply is magnificent, requires no care, but retains its noble form entirely naturally. Huh. Interesting. Oh. Banquet Hall, Dungeons, Throne Room. Let's explore a bit before we actually see the king. In the hall. You're no fun. Ah. Oh. Rude. I want to go up this way and into this room. I can. I think with Sir Hendrix, Sir exhausting. I'm just taking a little breather. Oh, I can open up this. There's nothing in it. Damn it. But I can break their pots. <laughs> in here. More pots. Ooh. This. Oh, nothing. Oh, your pots had nothing. Ooh, there's a wardrobe. A leather hat. Oh, I bought that leather hat last episode and I got another one. Let's see, there's two more doors on the other side.
disgrace. Ooh, there's a red book. There's a book called King Carnelian Behind the Throne, where Patrick takes his took from the shelf and has a closer look. Having seen several generations of his line, I can say with some certainty that King Carnelian is a rare breed of monarch possessed of all the qualities required in a truly great leader, both loved by and feared by the populace. He is like a father to them, kind yet stern, firm yet fair. Not since the days of the great kings of old has our nation been so blessed, though his face may have grown hard and lined since the terrible events that took place a few short years ago. Some might say that this has added a certain depth that improves him yet further. To have no res resolutely, oh, to have so resolutely overcome such grief and yet still led his nation the onward to surely as a sign that King Carnelian is king among kings. Huh. Well, I guess we'll see. Each bearer's clothes. Okay, I'll sell those. Alright, I think I'm left to uh, loot from this room. Oh, another red book. Gerdidian Geographic. Um... Many nations, both large and small, that make up your idea. There are five so called great nations. Uh, there are five, the so called great five, that stand above all others in the eyes of the world. Ancient Honorable Dundrasil, steadfast with Sony. Oh. Steadfast in Sony Heliodor, the lap of Polis, with its noble desert knights. Sniffleheim with its snow cap towers. And the last but not least, Zwar... Zwardrust. Zwardrust. Carpeted in flowers. Oh, I think I want to see the last one. These five nations guide the world, meeting every few years at the great conference known as the Cloakley of Kings in order to steer the course of Iridian affairs in the direction agreeable to all. Huh. Nada. Oh, but there's a chest. I'm so glad I went in here. Hands off, urchin. Those are gifts. King, you so much as touch them, and you'll be sorry. Stupendously wealthy and have brought marvelous gifts for the king, but now I hear he means to grant an audience to some upstart that I must wait. Hmm. Well, fiddlesticks, I wanted to steal his gifts. Guess I'll have to talk to the king first. That's just a shame. Ooh, wait, doors. Oh, this is the king's chamber? Late princess's room. What's up here? And we're going up. Ooh, pots. Nothing. Those are strong medicine. Huh. Okay, so what's in here? Um. Ooh. Oh no, you must be luminary I've been hearing so much about. If you're looking for the throne room, I'll warrant that it's on the floor below this one. The king is expecting you, I believe. Oh, well, ah, pots. Seed of Therapusius. <laughs> These names, I swear. I can ask you to say a tongue twister. Balcony. Are there any pots on this side? Whether or not. Let's hit the balcony real quick. Yes. Ah. Okay. I can break these. A mini metal. Okay. Not sure what it does. file. Um... 
tap button. Tap menu. Sparkly spots. Huh, okay. What do you have to say? Can't stop thinking about the star. The red star. These guys know an Erdogan's lantern, you know. I always have long wondered how it got that name. I'm afraid it has remained a mystery. Huh. Okay. Let's go back inside. Actually, I wonder. Nope, can't do anything with those. Well, I guess we'll head back downstairs. Probably nothing else we can do up here. Don't see any pots. I just you wait. Okay, we'll finally go see him. Tense. Why is everyone looking at me? That will be quite close enough. Welcome to Heliodor Castle, friend. That must be the strategist. And he must be the, the jewel sword wielder. Of Dundrasil. You are bold indeed to have made your way here alone, wanderer. I am Carnelian, ruler of Heliodor. Hey. How long have I waited for this day? And now, finally, we meet. Truly, it is an honor. The fact that you come here proffering the jewel and asking to speak with me personally would suggest that you know something of your true nature. Okay. I take it that you also bear the mark. <clears throat> yes, the mark of light. Then there is no doubt you are he. Really? Rejoice, dear subjects. The day is upon us at last. The luminary walks among us once more. <laughs> Tell me, O oh luminary, where exactly is it that you hail from? I would so very much like to pay tribute to those who took you in and raised you. Oh, you didn't even have to ask about that. Those are cobblestone. I see. Cobblestone, you say. Jasper, you know of this place? I do, my liege. A village of provincial nobodies deep in the rocky south. Nobodies? Then I take it you know what to do. Do not disappoint me. Know what to do. Okay, this is sounding really bad. Yes, my liege. Oh, forgot to press the button. Wait. Why is he taking knights with him? Oh, okay, something's wrong. Luminary. I know not what your intent was in coming here alone, but whatever your wicked scheme, know that it shall not succeed. Wicked scheme? How am I evil now? Oh, great, I'm surrounded. Take this cur, this harbinger of calamity, and cast him into the furthest corner of the dungeon. Things are acting like I'm know the this. opposite of the luminary. The luminary is the root of all evil and will bring naught but misery to our realm. Um. And why is this? The reason is simple. Just as light is intertwined with darkness, so too is the luminary intertwined with the dread lord of shadows. His coming heralds the resurrection of the Dark One. Oh, so you think I bring trouble with me? Do you really me? think you could fool one as 
as wise as his majesty. It was your great misfortune to confront one who knows your true nature. Men, seize this wretch. <laughs> okay. Uh, weren't there six of them? I only see four. Yeah, the king is kind of evil or been brainwashed or something. Is they're taking me to the dungeon? Urgh. Still only four guards. There was six. You claim to hail from Cobblestone. Well, before the sun has set three times, we shall know the truth. Uh, it didn't take me three days to ride here, so... By then, Jasper will have returned from his investigation. Uh, I think you mean slaughter. If I were you, Darkspawn, I would not expect to live beyond that day. See, why are people calling me a Darkspawn and an evil person? Hmm. I'm clearly not. I'm the opposite, to be honest. Hero in chains, word for filling your duty and traveling to Heliodorf Castle, only to be damned with the dark spawn and thrown in the dungeons by King Carnelian. The and the book even said he was a good and wise king. Get a grip, making a racket isn't going to help you any. Hmm. You should keep down will you there goes the neighborhood. Will you keep it down in there? Most folks they throw in here have the decency to wait a while before going stir crazy. <laughs> what are you in for, anyhow? You don't get free bed and board down here without having done something pretty bad. Wait, did you say the luminary? You're serious? No, I'm being sarcastic. You're telling me the luminary has just shown up in the cell next to mine. This is crazy. Is it? Oh. That was a guard. Be quiet. One plate of delicious gruel for the gentleman in the dungeon suite. The dungeon Come suite. And get it. <laughs> Oh. Okay. I guess he's breaking out. You're serious? Looks mysterious. Stare. Stare so it's back. it's all happening just <laughs> like the seer said it would. We'd better get out of here. Okay. Guess he's gonna help us? You have something huh? hidden under your mat? Wait here. Press button. You. You, but ah. Uh. Don't worry, I didn't kill him, but he won't be waking up anytime soon. Things will get pretty hairy up ahead. You'd better take this. Okay. Oh, and I found this in a corner over there. I guess it's your stuff, right? Wait. Me? I got this little beauty back, so now I'm pretty much unstoppable. Looks like a short sword slash dagger. We better get out of here before any more of our tin-headed friends come knocking. 
Hollow, when you're ready to move out, okay? Okay. Guessing he has some sort of way out in his cell. Uh huh. Yeah. A I hole spent in the ages digging this hole, and you just happen to show up the day I finish it. Heck of a coincidence. Guess I really was meant to help you out, just like the seer said. Anyway, there'll be time to talk about all that later. In you go. Okay. Huh. Doors? Aqueduct? The sewers, huh? Well, there must be a way out somewhere. Lead the way. I got your back. Okay. Let us explore. Ooh. Darn it. Hmm. There's a sparkly over there. There's a sparkly here. Medicinal herbs. Doors locked tight. Oh, there's a friggin' chest over there. Don't have a map. Okay. I okay, probably don't want to light that. I guess there isn't anything over here. Thing. Oh. Uh oh. There they are. You lot, over here. Huh? They found us. Damn it. We better make ourselves scarce. Uh, they weren't over there when I looked. So. Camera positioning. Terrible. Run! You don't want to go that way. Follow my lead. Um, oh. Follow my lead. Okay. About the torch and follow my lead. So we're gonna follow my lead. Be with me. We can get across the light the torch again, we can get out. Um guessing we cannot get out. Oh, surrounded. These guys don't give up, do they? Apparently not. Um, that's not good. Huh? Serious? <laughs> Bye. Not want to be in that sewer water. Strangely enough, it looks pretty clean for sewer water, though. You okay? Looks like we shook the guards, at least. And we're still alive. That's also a good thing. And that looks like a way out. Maybe our luck's about to change. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. How about 
Do we have all our equipment? Yes, we do. Okay. That one's charm. Maximum HP. Charm. I wonder what charm does. Oh, actually, let's. Fence, block chance. Okay, um. What does charm do? It does not tell me. Uh, nothing around here that I can see. I guess we'll take a quick save. Save. Yes. Plan to continue. Yes, I do. All right. Take a look inside this cave. It's already. Oh my god. I don't want to fight it. Fight it. Maybe it won't wake up. Oh no. Oh no, Wait. no, no. There's something there. Run! Yes! Run! You guys can't take a dragon. Oh um. If we stand and fight, we're dead. Let's get the heck out of here. I agree. Let's get out of here. Uh, the camera sucks right now, let me tell you what. Um, well, here goes jump? nothing. Pretty far fall, to be honest. I think we gave it the slip. I don't think so. Huh? Yeah. Uh, I spoke too soon. Yes, you did. Don't get moving or dead meat run. Come on, quickly. I'm running, I'm running. Oh. I definitely do not want to fight these. There's monsters too. Lanterns. Oh, I don't think he'll be able to break through this. Hopefully. Oh. Did we actually give him a slip? Oof. Has it gone? Whew. Maybe? That was way too close for comfort. Yes. What's that thing doing under the castle anyway? Well, whatever. We should get going. You haven't even told me your name yet. Uh oh. 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 Did we make it? <coughs> uh, I guess we just barely made it. We made it. Just. 
I don't know how much more of this I can take. <laughs> <laughs> oh. There he is, the dark spawn. Out of the pot and into the fryer. Ah, <laughs> uh, me and my big mouth. <laughs> Yeah, we finally made it out. <sighs> Looks like our luck finally ran out. Or not? Well, there's water beneath. We can always jump. There they are. <sighs> no way back, huh? If they catch us, we're dead meat. <laughs> we're getting to press the button. <laughs> I think there might be an option to set. Let's do this. I believe in you. I believe in the luminary. I don't have much choice. <laughs> Come on. Let's not do anything stupid now. Stupid is my middle name. <laughs> oh, he's going to take off his hood. Oh, he's got blue hair. Interesting. The name's Eric, by the way. Now we know his name. <laughs> Hmm. Oh. Now we get the intro. Oh, is this Gemma? No? Maybe it was Gemma. Oh, we can fight him too. Nice sword. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Uh, yes. We record even though we just saved. Yeah, yeah. Come on, up you get. Where are we? A church? I'm not dead. You bring me to church. Oh, maybe it's not a church. Eh, maybe it is. Finally, I was worried we'd lost you for a minute there. You've been out cold ever since we jumped. I had to drag you all the way here on my own. Oh, I'm sorry. But what a jump it was. 
I closed my eyes, put my faith in the luminary, and somehow didn't get smashed into a thousand pieces. Well... In fact, I woke up on the forest floor at the bottom of the cliff without a scratch on me. Amazing what a little faith can do. You're welcome? Anyway, I guess you and me must be at the top of the King of Heliodor's most wanted list by now. I'm still confused. Why? Which means we can't hang around here too long. Let's go say thanks to the nun who looked after us and be on our way. Any red books? Nope. No red books. Hero hounded a word for making daring escape from the dungeons of Heliodor Castle and sneaking through sewers with Eric. Where are we? Heliodor Foothills? Downtown Heliodor. The Man Mangle Grove. So we're gonna go to the Mangle Grove. I definitely don't want to go with the city again. Ah, there you are, my children. I trust that your friend here is fully recovered. Uh, oh, don't extent. worry about him. He's just fine. Hey, thanks for looking out for us. We owe you one. Not at all, dear. I'm just happy to see you both well again. But if you are leaving, you must be careful on the road. Oh. It seems some dangerous criminals have escaped <laughs> from the capital and are at large somewhere in the area. Oh, I shudder to think what wicked deeds they might be capable of. Uh, we haven't done anything wicked yet. Criminals, you say? Dear me, that doesn't sound good. And you heard this when you were in Heliodor. I did indeed, my child. There were guards everywhere. They are searching high and low for the villains. And okay. I heard that the mighty knight Sir Hendrik himself has headed to the mountains in the south with his troops. Oh, uh, that's not good. They say he means to block the road to Cobblestone, the village the fugitives came from. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, but you must forgive me, poor lambs. I did not mean to alarm you. They will soon be caught, I am <laughs> sure. Justice will be done. And until then, you are free to remain with us for as long as you please. Uh, I wouldn't want to get you in trouble. Thanks. We appreciate that. Um, we're going to get a little fresh air. We have a few things to discuss, right? Yes. Before that, we must go into miscellaneous and go into system settings. Um. Hmm. Cameras. Volume. Keyboard setting. No, no, no. Um, not quest catalogs. Ah, I feel like there should be some way to just auto scroll display options, mode resolution, tactics, traveler tips, no. Character builder. Oh, I figured it out. Oh my gosh. We can finally put our points in. Flame slash. Slash an enemy with a scorching sword. Great sword guard. That's useless for me. Up chance plus 5%. Um. Where's 8 points? Where's 3 points? Uh, well, I guess we'll get flame slash. Well, isn't there? Oh, I guess. Oh, swords, great swords, or mastery, luminary. Ooh, okay. Well. that
Critical hit chance when wielding 2%. Stance. Helps a supple stance that can greatly increase the number of parries performed. Interesting. Attack power building plus 10. Metal slash. Question. Learn four surrounding skills to unlock this panel and reveal its hidden secrets. Attack power one wielding plus three. Dragon slash. That sounds useful. Critical hit chance when wielding. Sword stance. Power one wielding plus ten. Hmm. That actually sounds really good. Ah, but it's, it's so far away from everything. Kind of tempted to go this one, a power one wielding, then dragon slash, and then metal slash. And then get this one. That gives me force around this one, unlock it. And that gives me plus six attack power. I get falcon slash. It should unlock this one. And I can probably get Sword Mastery and Giga Slash. Whoa, 25 points? Ouch. Okay, what is down here? Pep Chance plus 5. That calls down lightning on a group of enemies. Oof, targets all enemies and makes them disappear. Wait, all enemies and make them disappear? Interesting. Increases agility plus 10. Resilience plus 10. Holy Protection. Generates a holy aurora that causes weaker monsters to avoid the party. Ooh. Increases defense. Increases strength. These are just like stats. I have two. Uh, well, three skills. No, two skills. Because these are actives. This is a passive. Huh. Kind of hoping the uh, tree would be a little more expansive, but I guess not. Handy heal all. Heal all. Well, shoot. Guess I can't actually. I need to be in the main menu where I have to set the uh, auto talk to cut such a fear. Eh? Never heard of the place. I never even knew anyone actually lived in those mountains down south. Is that really where you're from? Eh, technically. Long story. I'm guessing you want to go see what's happening down there. But you need to be smart. You won't get past Hendrik unnoticed. That's if why you're we're going, going to make the it there without place. getting caught, you'll need to avoid the main road. Yes. And if you want to do that, you'll need my help. I know every back road there is to know in these parts. But I've well, got things good. to take care of in Heliodor first. I left a little something in one of my old haunts downtown, and I need to get it back. Uh, it'd be so dangerous, so, Eric. Are you coming along for the ride? I did help you break out of that dungeon, remember? Uh, okay. That's the spirit. But we can't have you bringing us any unwanted attention. Ah, you gonna I've give got me your just the thing. Here, put this on and keep your face hidden. Otherwise, you're gonna get nabbed as soon as. Well, what about my sword? It kind of sticks out too. Okay, where's your sword? <laughs> That's more like it. If you're gonna be a wanted man, you might as well look the part. Right. Let's head north and hit town. With a shawl with a hood. Glad you're coming along. The seer told me to stick with the luminary when I found him, and that's just what I'm going to do. Mm, oh, okay. Wait. I officially have a new party member. Okay. You gonna stand there all day? I. Oh my god. High power an incredible power that can be formed by two or more party members when at least one of them is kept up. Some pet powers can only be unleashed when everyone involved is in the state. So kept powers from the menu it appears one of the exciting abilities you can unleash depending on the tactics each character is set. Like either perform powers automatically or wait for orders to get with the traveler's tips for learn more. Okay. 
Ooh. There's actually a quest. Get her. Blue haired chap that you. He's called Eric, is he? Well, he looks like he knows how to handle himself. I could have picked the worst traveling companion for the certain. Tell me something. Have you heard of Pep Powers? Uh, yes. I just read the thing, of course. Uh, friend Eric, puts your mind to it. You'll be able to master a little cracker known as the real decoy. You have to just try it out and help hapless monsters. Well, give it a try. Ooh, she'll give me a gold chain? Sure. Okay. Enough talking. Takes two to tango. Is that a guy or a girl? Because he's wearing pink and red and he has like feathers on his cap. It's very confusing. Well, I guess we'll have to attack these. A group of Bodkin archers. Ooh. Line up. Interesting. Ooh. There's one. Wow. Ten damage. Ow. Three. Oh my god. Nine, six, that's 15 damage, okay. 30 experience, 24, okay. We could probably level up fairly easy. I apparently did not get to drop on them. Frizz. I'm gonna frizz that one. Nice. 12, 16. Aha, I got the drop on him. Bloody puss! Oh, he didn't die. Now he's dead. Ooh, sparkly sparklies. Race of buzzberries. Blurry feather. Right, bulbs? Wow. Dang, Eric is way more powerful than I am. I'm gonna avoid some of these. Actually, maybe I'm just gonna try and get a level real quick. Yeah, yeah, he did. What? That was an interesting skill. Easy. 14, 18. Eight. Nine. Oh, wow. Another one bites the dust. Well. Surely there will be more fights up ahead. Wait. Ah, always good thing to look around. Butterfly wing. Wait, are we going the right way? Oh, yes, we are. in the city. Welcome to downtown Heliodor, home to rogues, ruffians, and all my other favorite kinds of people. About um, a year ago, me and Dirk, my partner in crime, managed to uh, acquire one of the royal family's most precious possessions. The Red Orb? The red orb. They got wise and pulled me in eventually. 
But not before we'd stashed it somewhere safe so we could pick it up later. And what happened to your friend? Right down there is the biggest, stinkingest garbage pile in all of Heliodor. Me and Dirk buried the ore slap bang in the middle of it. After and all, don't think no it's one would ever yet? think of looking for it there. We're criminal geniuses, I tell you. What if the trash got taken out? Time to go liberate that loot. Uh, it's probably gone. Oh, another quest. Um, what is this? Maybe small, but it's perfectly formed and will create next. Oh. No. Okay, I'll pick up this quest just so I know. I mean, little secret uh, posh folks over the wall don't want to know about. Can't come around here while well, I got a reason to stick you around. Over, what's for a dump? Be in the right part of the town for rubbish. There's a great big pile of it right in the middle. Uh, okay, I thought you were gonna actually tell me something interesting. Okay, that's. You have anything interesting to sell? Um, nothing I can afford, to be honest. Bronze knife. 29 to 31. Wow. My attack is way lower than his for some reason. Nope. I'm curious. What are my attributes? Okay. Wayfarer's clothes. Oh, you know what? I can actually probably equip something on him. No. Uh, wayfarers, no. Don't have anything. Oh well. I got him a hat. General store. Holy water, a secret substance that scares off weaker monsters consumed upon use. Say less. Oh, right. Okay. Goodbye. Ooh. Is this the garbage pile? This is the spot. Keep a lookout, okay? Now, it was around here somewhere. It's definitely here. I'm a thousand percent sure. Uh. <laughs> Saw that coming. Me. He must have done the dirty on me and take it. Damn it! I should have known! A thieving. I'm gonna find him. And you're gonna help me. Uh, imagine that. Okay. The inn we used to crash at is just over there. Come on. It's the only one with an upstairs. You can't miss it. It's the only one with the upstairs. <laughs> um. That is not a very safe looking inn. Ooh, this guy sells armor. Anything interesting? Anything that I can afford? Boxer shorts? <laughs> uh. I'm gonna have to grind some money. There's no one in here. Huh. This old place hasn't changed a bit. Back in our thieving days, Dirk and me used to lay low here whenever things got hairy. Ruby? Ruby, you there? It's me, Eric. There's something I need to ask you. Ruby? Ruby runs the place. Which means Oops. we'll have to go find her. <sighs> so here's the plan. There's a tower they use to look out for fires. You're going to climb up there and keep an eye out for me. I'll check a couple of other spots. Don't worry, you can't Only miss it. Ooh. We saw her in the trailer. Wait. Red dot right here. 
Oh. Right, Pink Dot is talking to people in stream. Climb the tower. Definitely some corruption going on in this city, that's for sure. Take any. Yeah, uh, can't find Ruby any. Yes, I just saw her. You saw her heading back to the inn. <laughs> See, she's right here. Well, if it isn't my favorite landlady. Um, probably missing a bill. to the wind <laughs> don't worry i won't be here long i just need to know where dirk is have you seen him dirk eh now there's a name i ain't heard in a while didn't he open some fancy shop up by the castle wow yeah that was it raking in the cash he is or so they say that can't be right the rent up there is crazy where would he find the money? He sold your Wait a thing, Meg Jig. He sold it, didn't he? The rat sold the damned orb. Look, in this part of town, you don't go asking too many questions. You know that. If you want more, you'll have to get it from the horse's mouth. You're right. Thanks, Ruby. I oh, appreciate I'm sure it. he'll be getting more. You'll get out of your hair. How the heck do we get up there? That no good traitor? I'll bet he sold me out and sold the ore. And also he could move up in the world. Well, I'll get what I'm owed. You'll see. <sighs> but we'll need to get past that sentry if we're gonna head uptown and find him. Well, that's easy. Wait. The dog doesn't he... like him. that one of the guards is terrified of dogs. I was just saying that. I think it was him. Maybe we can borrow one of somebody. <laughs> There's a dog right down here. See? This person right here. Bullseye. The great big coward of our uh, nearly wet him eat himself. If you're staring at get lost. But you want to borrow my dog? You're having a giraffe, ain't you? Ain't got time for this. Go on, sing your luck. Boys as lone wolf like me don't take kindly of strangers. Wonder on a buzz barrier too might change his mind. Uh, grab a tree shaking berries in it. Big tree find 
Well, I already got some. I already got some. Old things working around here. Get some, get some water and buzzberry too. Then we'll talk. Holy water or. You can say holy. Oh, okay. The text uh, dialect is like terrible. I'm like, you want a what? You want holy water and buzzberries. Well, they already got the buzzberries. It's just holy water. Bye. Holy water. Um, let's buy three. All right, I think that should be um, items, item bag. Buzzberries. Transfer to me. Two. Okay, hopefully I don't have to transfer them back, both back to my inventory. Yes. Let's see now. Yeah, that looks like what I asked for. Blammy, you actually bought it mug. Everybody's favorite buzzberries are f Ain't they right? Let's sprinkle this holy water on you, shall we? Here we go. Oh, the monsters steer clear when you go playing outside town. Oh, okay. But don't look at me like that. Bullseye looks after me and I look after him. As I promise, I promise. He's yours for a bit. Look after him, all right. Go and play with the nice man for a bit, okay? <laughs> halt! This gate leads to the nice part, part of town. town. My job is to protect respectable people from being bothered by rabble and riffraff. In other words, you. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not a, a, a dog, anything but that. <laughs> <laughs> Worked like a charm. Now to head up to where all the rich folks live and find out what the heck Dirk thinks he's up to. All right, let's head up. See here. Oh, where I want to go? How about over here? Oh, let's not. Let's avoid the guard. Ah, uh, this place. Any? Uh, I'm sorry. Wrong place. <laughs> You! So if you're looking for a shop run by someone called Dirk. Oh, a person. Look, there's someone by the name who lives in a man big mansion by the castle. Take my advice and use the rope on the roof of this house. It'll be much quicker. Need to jump up to get there. Rope's B and she said, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, that rope. Well, there's another rope over there. Interesting. Right, because we have to avoid the guards. Is there anything interesting on these roofs other than... Oh.
Okay. Wait, oh, dirt stuff right here. Oh, right here. Time for a beatdown. Wow, nice place you got here. Oh boy. Welcome, welcome. Feel free to browse. You'll find we only stock the very finest wing. Oh boy. <gasps> yeah. That's good. Because I'm looking for something very special indeed. Happen to have any orbs <laughs> in stock? <laughs> Long time no see, old pal. Ready for a knuckle sandwich? Eric! My, my father! My compadre! My, my partner in crime! It's, oh, it's really you! Not his life, life and fight fighting so. fit! You have no shame, huh? Get setting hands off of me. You always were full of it, Dirk. But this really takes the cake. Admit it. You sold me out and sold the orb so you could buy this place, didn't you? Sounds logical. I never. I promise you, I never sold you out. I was worried sick about you. I only opened this place to try and help you. How? Oh, yeah. And how does that work, exactly? How does you opening this place and lining your pockets while I rot in jail help me? He's got a good point. No, I was never much of a thief, you know that. But it turns out I know how to sell stuff. I got a gift, even if I do say so myself. No. When you got nabbed, I spent months racking my brains for ways of busting you out. Months? He's been down there for months. Understand the thought of you being in there. In the end, I realized I'd have to give up the orb. I took it to the king, told him I found it somewhere, and pocketed the reward. See? Then I used the cash to open up the shop here, and poured all my profits into bribing the guards up at the castle so they'd let you escape. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I did think it was weird they never tossed my cell the whole time I was digging that hole. Oh. Exactly! I was paying them to turn a blind eye, weren't I? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know if I can trust him or not. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I doubted you, partner. Uh. That's the spirit. There we go, pal. It's so good to have you back. But I need that orb. And now we don't even know where it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, we do. Right this way, gentlemen. We gave them a fake one. Uh, no, he's heading out the door. Here? This way? Up here? Uh, not this door. Ooh, but there's pots. Pots and barrels. Mini metal. I don't know what they're for. Can I jump over? No, I can't. Well, uh, this door? No. Okay, I guess we're going out. Oh, there he is. So, where is it? After I handed over the orb. I made sure to keep my ears to the ground about where it ended up. I knew it was important to you. Well, a little bird tells me that Endrick and his men took it to the King's Barrow, and it's been under lock and key there ever since. The King's Barrow? The King's Barrow, huh? Where is that? What is it? Oh. Southeast of town. Same direction as Cobblestone. Hmm. Which means we can kill two birds with one stone. You coming, Dirk? A little no, adventure not. for old time's sake? Sorry, yep. no can do. I've got a shop to run and 
I'm a married man these days. He's married? Married? Wow, you really have changed. Well, you always said you wanted to settle down and maybe go into business someday. I'm happy for you. We'd better get going. Take care, Dirk, and thanks for everything. You too, old pal. Be lucky, eh? Be lucky. And don't you two go doing anything I wouldn't do. Oh, we probably will. The South Gate is crawling with guards. We won't be walking out that way. And Hendrick's men are too uptight to take bribes. Yeah. Guess we'll have to go the long way round. If we skirt round the hills to the south, we should be able to approach the King's Barrow from the other side. We can drop into Cobblestone on the way. Okay, let's head back downtown. Okay. Watch yourselves out there, eh? They don't call that forest round there the Mangle Grove for nothing. There's plenty going there and never come out. Scary. <laughs> It'll take more than a few kid stories to scare us off. And besides, it's the only way to get there. All right, well, I think that's it for this episode of Dragon Quest XI. If you want to see the next one, like, subscribe, and stick around. Have another one for you soon. All right, bye.